Hey there YouTube, SuperbrainAK here, and well, in the last video, talking about my uh, LED bar circuit, uh, you may have noticed this guy. This guy is a, if you haven't guessed already, a buck converter, which has been made out of 95% recycled components where the only components that were not recycled are these little screw terminal blocks and the solder so yeah um, it's based off of well basically I built it on this pretty large heatsink and comparatively for little buck converters which normally have no heat sink whatsoever. Uh, yeah. So, which th this is out of a um, DLP television, where this that little aluminum bump in the center went straight on the DLP chip. So yeah. I didn't make a cool little heatsink, and that's what I built everything on. So, the heart of it, as you can see there, is an ICY-103, which is, if we go to the data sheet, it is a... Okay... A TO263 surface mount chopper regulator, which is capable of three and a half amps, built in on off, soft start, built in oscillation. Oh my goodness! 150 kilohertz uh, oscillation frequency, built in over temperature, over current, whatever. Uh, maximum input voltage is 40 volts. Um, yeah, three and a half amps. 35 watt power dissipation. That's actually pretty darn decent. Uh, yeah, here's a typical application circuit, I believe. So a voltage comes in, pin one, which. Oh, that's a test circuit. I don't think that's how I'm using it. But no, I think that's right. So, yeah. Anyway. Um, so, I've used the... That, this guy was out of a... Um, like an amplifier or home theater 5.1 DVD player system and so I kept the well, obviously it itself and the little inductor that they used next to it I think it's like a it's a fairly low micro Henry's you can see there 101 so 100 micro Henry's not that much. And yeah. Basically all the components have been salvaged from something else. That double diode there uh, is probably out of a power supply. And then the wire that I use is actually phone hookup wire. So yeah. That was pretty cool. Thought I'd share that with you guys. Who says you can't make a power supply out of recycled components? Uh, I am still sort of testing it. Um, I have tested it where it does pretty good current. I can get like two, two amps out of it. Going to like four volts from 12. Um, but the input capacitor 
input filter capacitor, which is a Nichicon 220 microfarad 50 volt. Uh, it gets kind of warm, warmer than the rest of, com rest of the components. Well, actually, more like the same temperature. But so the output capacitor, if you're interested, is a Rubicon. 35 volt, 560 microfarads. So, yeah, it is step down, so 40 volts in, something less out. Uh, but yeah, uh, that capacitor between the chip and the output is the soft start, which is also the on off pin. You can see all the rest of the pins are being used. Um, and then the voltage divider there on that potentiometer. It, the original circuit did have a capacitor across the uh, input positive and the input to the regulator, but it didn't really, it was giving me all sorts of wanky results. So. I removed it. He's a little bit loose now. But yeah, it's kind of cool. The only problem that I see with it is it doesn't really have um, saw or a, a reset, a under voltage reset. So where if you remove the voltage and put it back, basically in a brownout scenario it will latch its output uh, so it'll give the main output and to its output. So that isn't very good. I'm going to have to see whether it does that all the time or what are the actual scenarios of that because I've had fairly chunky resistors on the end of it that didn't really do a whole lot. So I'm going to have to do a little bit more testing on that. But yeah, for 90% recycled components, it's pretty cool. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.